Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And I was thinking about recording a live on War Day with One Hive Genesis and showing some other clanmates live attacks because I haven't done that in a while. But this clan's really not even trying. They didn't fill their CCs. There's not a whole lot of great action to catch. So instead, I'm going to show a live attack because I'm taking on a pretty solid base. Um, despite the quality of the war. So it should be a lot more interesting to see this attack than some of the other ones that are going on. And uh, I'm going to show you the replay first of the first attacker, which is Chaos. We'll see kind of how he tried to take out the base, then the changes I'm going to make to the plan, because it's going to be pretty similar. So it probably seems like I do this ring base a lot. It's like my arch nemesis, I guess. But I'm sure you guys see this a ton at Town Hall 10. So hopefully you can get something out of these videos, even if I'm doing a lot of anti two star bases, because honestly, that's the majority of bases you see. Uh, in just random matchups, so still should be a great attack and should come down to pretty a pretty close attack because this base has some max point defense and other stuff on it. So anyway, you can see Chaos comes in with the queen walk at the top, wall breakers in at the bottom there, and uh, his queen's going to step up, get some pretty good value, but one thing to notice is that the queen gets kind of drawn up north, and uh, just the pathing doesn't work out quite as well as he probably hoped. And uh, as soon as she goes up for that dark spell factory, she's going to go for the wall. So uh, she'll be going in range of that inferno pretty soon in the king. And uh, because of that, she's going to go down. So that is one part of the attack that didn't work out so well. You can see he's trying to create the funnel for his Valks. But I think he used way too many Valks for the funnel there. Um, that's like a group of six to seven Valks plus the king just to create the funnel really. And you can see they get the job done fine, but they go down pretty quickly because they're exposed to all those defenses without any spells to help them out so anyway his queen enters the base uh, she goes down pretty quickly like I said his main group of Valks go in but the timing was kind of off the CC ones were late so there's only a few Valks in the middle of the base even and uh, they're not gonna be able to deal with the Inferno Towers the Teslas all that stuff so we'll go ahead and go times two because at this point the Valks are down it's pretty much just the last few troops making their way through so nice try to chaos um, let's fast forward to the end and then we'll talk a little bit about the changes I'm gonna make and we'll actually draw it out in my UDoodle app. Uh, so shout out to UDoodle, great app to use to edit photos. I use it for the thumbnail, and I also use it for these live attack videos, planning type stuff. So all around a great app. You guys should download it. Anyway, though, uh, taken, and I'm not getting paid to say that either. <laughs> just, just so you guys know, this isn't product placement. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do to this base is a similar plan, also using Valks. I'm going to basically start off with a balloon here and a few minions behind because there's really no air coverage, assuming there's no traps or anything, and I have a few extra balloons in case there is, but the one balloon in the, few, in the minions should take out that one archer tower and also maybe get a few of these trash buildings taken out as well. Um, once they start to go down, I'm going to drop a Valk and a wizard. That should be plenty to take out those two buildings and tank for a moment. Then I'm going to drop down my queen. Uh, with four healers on her and actually what I might do is not drop the queen I'll drop the wall breakers because all these uh, defenses will be on the Valk so Valk wizard then really quick the wall breakers to open that up then I'll drop down my queen with her four healers let her walk into the base here I don't have a rage for her I need the rage for the Valks so I'm going to just use the ability if I need it hopefully I won't though but I have it if I do. She'll get in here, take out the air defense, and create the funnel by taking out these buildings, basically. From there, I really don't care where she goes, as long as she stays up for the end of the attack to help with cleanup on the last few defenses. So that's that. i um, going to create the funnel up there. Once the queen's looking good, I'm going to drop down a golem to tank for these three point defense, the two archer towers and the cannon. going to drop down two wizards like that to take out these two buildings. Then a jump... Uh, king and two Valks to get in here, create the other part of the funnel, and uh, that should be plenty to do that job. Maybe two or three Valks, maybe three. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to drop a giant here to tank for that wizard tower, just so it doesn't get too many shots off on my main group of Valks, because honestly, when all like 12 Valks are together, that wizard tower does quite a bit more damage than any point defense could do, so I want to make sure that I distract it for at least a little while. So the Valks will come in here, they'll swing through the wall, They'll get in here. I have a jump, a rage, a freeze, and a heal. So all four of my spells, not drop like that obviously, but I'll get that freeze down early to take out the uh, 
Inferno Tower, get the Teslas in there and everything frozen up, and maybe the Expo. And uh, once that's frozen, I should be able to just heal my Valks on the back end, like I said, with that one heal. And from there, the core should be destroyed. Hopefully, I still have my queen up. And if everything's going well, I have a few balloons. Might drop like one here, and then I think like five hogs, just to flank some of these defenses, get the last few bits of the base taken out. So anyway, that's the plan. Let's go into Clash of Clans and see if I can get the three-star here. <coughs> I um, wanted to record this one because it's been a, a little while since you guys have seen some live action. So anyway, first live attack with the new mic. You guys can probably hear, you know, all the raw emotion in my voice, and you'll be able to hear that as I attack. So that's kind of cool. Another dimension of the attack that you don't usually have. Um, so anyway, uh, I think I have everything. My queen is level 40, by the way, so that's an extra bonus. She can probably do a lot more. Uh, with that level 40 ability but the freeze the two jumps all the spells are good cc troops the cc spell and then have all the troops it looks like although i don't have the wall breakers okay that could have been bad i'm going to delete one valk and train up four wall breakers <laughs> that could have been an epic fail on a live attack so you guys might see a fail but it's not going to be a, a wall breaker fail that's what i'm going to tell you guys right now because i do have the wall breakers and uh yeah, looks like I have everything. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and try this. So base number seven. Go in here and uh, just remember the order. We have the balloon minions, Valk wizard, wall breakers, queen. From there, we're just going. Okay, sounds good. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, let's get the balloon going. Balloon, one, two, three. That should get in there just fine. Uh, Valk, wizard, one, two, three, four. Opened up. Queen, one, two, three, four. All right, queen, do your thing. Yeah, two-point defense, but she'll get that expo pretty quickly. Think we're good there. All right, I'm going to take my eye off her for just a moment. Let's get the golem. Uh, wizard. Wizard. Actually, is that going to... Yeah, okay. Get on that golem. There you go. There's the wizard. Queen is still fine. Um, let's get the jump spell. King, two Valks, we'll do three Valks. Uh, queen is still okay. Giant, Valks. Not that many Valks, to be honest, but we'll see how this goes. Ability, Rage, Freeze. Yeah, I do not have that many Valks at all. Uh, my Queen's going down. King, uh, Heal. Poison. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this attack, guys. Don't have a whole lot of troops left up. That single Inferno. Um, we can go two there. Get the hogs going in. Poison that. Yep, this one's going to be a fail, it looks like. Uh, I'm going to drop that in there. Yep, uh, we'll take a look at the attack. I just didn't have enough Valks. I'm not sure what changes... Maybe those five hogs and the extra balloons were just kind of, just kind of weren't worth it. Because if I look back on my last, and you guys can even go back and watch, I think it's two or three live attacks ago, maybe both two and three live attacks ago. I've done this ring base, it seems like, so many times, but I just don't quite have it mastered yet. So if, maybe if you go back and watch, I, maybe I'll do that too. I think that I didn't bring the hogs and the... Uh, in the balloons as much. I just mainly brought Valks and let them just get through the core as quickly as possible and and uh, and uh, get through the core as quickly as possible and just uh, just and leave the core and just take out the rest of the base along with the queen. Now 
Things were a little slow. I was t watching the queen for too long. And as soon as this minion dies, I like to let it go the entire time. We'll take a look at the attack and we can actually talk as we see it. But I think there's a few changes we could make. We'll end it right there. Um, so 72%. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled. And no one's even on the care, actually, because it's a garbage war. But anyway, um, there's still a lot to learn, actually, from this attack. The first thing is that the, the, the first part went well. That's an awesome trade balloon and a few minions to get in there take out the archer tower create a little bit of a funnel for my queen awesome stuff there there goes the valk i think the wizard was needed to get that extra damage to take out the elixir storage wall breakers go in so everything's fine but i'm watching the queen for too long here and i think that just comes with being a little more comfortable and i probably should be i've done so many queen walks in my clash career really i think it was just getting a little bit hung up watching that level 40 queen or something that extra damage i don't know but at this point i was a little bit late as soon as that expo was about to go down could have started a moment later one thing to notice is that that giant was targeted first keep that in mind if you bring a cc with a golem and a giant the giant's going to be targeted first because it comes out first so if you're trying to distract a defense to drop a wizard on the giant dies pretty quickly, so right there, the archer tower switches onto the wizard and kills one of my wizards. So keep that in mind. I had to drop another wizard. Not the biggest deal. It didn't, it didn't make or break the attack, but just one thing to note. So anyway, at this point, it was a little bit too slow. That also slowed things down. The queen's going to get through there and get targeted by the inferno tower, so um, that's not good. But also, the main I think the main problem with this attack is that I did not have enough Valks. You can see here, a few of them, actually two of them, take that jump spell. I didn't even think about that happening. Could have dropped the jump a little bit lower. Pop the Queen's ability to drop the aggro there. But at this point, there's just not enough Valks. They get distracted by the Skellies. They're going to the base right here. And it looks like it might be okay, but all those giant bombs in there took a toll. The heal spell goes down, but it's just too late. There's not enough Valks by the time the heal goes down. Maybe a little bit earlier on the heal would have helped. But honestly, I think just needed more Valks and... The thing is, guys, like you look at these attacks and you maybe you've had a fail where you just use Valks and don't use any Hogs or Loons for the back end. And you think, you know, if I just had taken out four Valks, um, I could have, you know, brought these amount of Balloons or these amount of Hogs and gotten the job done on the back end of the base. You might think that. But honestly, if you take out those four or five Valks... It's not like they just, you know, you don't have them at the end of the attack like you did before. They also don't move through the base nearly as quickly, and that can kind of have the butterfly effect to not even taking out one of the Inferno Towers and not even setting yourself up to use those back-end troops like the Balloons or like the Hogs. So I guess the lesson is stick with, you know, more of the heavy-duty, bring a lot of Valks when in doubt, and uh, sometimes you don't have to have a plan for the whole base. I've said this before. Just have a plan for most of it, the important parts. And those last few defenses seem to go down pretty naturally anyway. So I think uh, I'm going to stick with what worked on a few live attacks back on this ring base. So if I do see it again, I will take it out with some more Valks. And uh, I'll be sure to get things going quicker so the Queen doesn't get targeted by the Inferno Tower. But besides that, I think this is a good strategy, doing the double funnel, the queen on one side, the king, and a few Valks on the other, and then sending your main group up the middle to get in there and take out that core. So hope you guys liked the video, and uh, let me know what adjustments you would make in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.